Hi, welcome to this episode of People of Toastmasters. Uh, my name is Dr. Todd Austin, and our guest today is Shandon Anchagari, DTM, and he is a leading motivational speaker, a keynote speaker, and a leadership coach from Central Illinois. He's a member of Toastmasters International, which is a premier worldwide organization which helps its members to fine tune their communication and leadership skills. He has held several offices in Toastmasters. He's been awarded the highest designation of Toastmasters International called the Distinguished Toastmasters Award. And he's also a member of the National Speakers Association. Uh, please help me welcome to the show, Ch Shandon. Thank you. And so, first of all, Shannon, I'm going to ask you, why did you join Toastmasters? That's a good question, Dr. Todd. I was an IT consultant. I am still am. I still am an IT consultant. But uh, when I moved into a role where I had to give a lot of presentations, where I had to make my design presentations, I had to give my status every Monday to my higher management, I just realized that I had a huge stage fear behind it. I shook. Uh, I mean, when my hands shook when I went there. I couldn't have a clear voice. I was pretty nervous to talk in front of those people. One of my friends suggested me at that moment that, hey, why don't you join Toastmasters? I'm like, well, what is Toastmasters? And he said, that's a very incredible public speaking uh, club that you can join. And I went home that night and looked up online uh, which are the probable clubs. And I found one of the oldest Toastmasters club. I think it's the oldest on the east of Rocky Mountains. It's called McBrien Lincoln Douglas Toastmasters Club. So I went there and joined. And ever since then, I've been a better communicator, a better leader, and also a better speaker uh, when it comes to public speaking or uh, giving my status at work or even interviewing. I've been better at that. Well, that's great. And I've heard of club number 51, the Brian Lincoln Douglas, which is one of the most distinguished clubs in Area 1, which is the area that we're in. And the second question I'd like to ask you is, how has Toastmasters made you a better person, Shannon? Toastmasters has given me a power to listen, listen very well, because listening skill is an important a critical skill for any leader. So as I moved up the leadership chain, it's, it has very well groomed me to be a better listener. Also, it has made me a better speaker when there is a tough topic, when there is a topic which is not so uh, interesting that you're presenting to your audience. I always learned the skill of putting in some humor, uh, telling some stories around it to keep the audience captivated, not to lose their interest in dry topics or in any presentations. That has been uh, another biggest asset that I have earned out of Toastmasters. And the uh, ultimate incredible skill that I have got from Toastmasters is leadership. At Toastmasters, if you move up the chain, you have to do one of the assignments called High Performance Leadership. And that is a challenge for you to have your own team, recruit your own team, get their feedback constantly, have them engaged, set goals for them, set action plans for them, and achieve a task or an assignment to successful uh, completion. That, has, that assignment has groomed me as a better leader, and that's the formula that I apply every time and any time I get a leadership assignment at work, in community, or at home. And I've done the high performance leadership, and sure. yeah, like you, like you said, it is it is work, and uh, but definitely makes you a better leader because sure. of, because of doing it. So, and lastly, you've been an area governor. Mm -hmm. I've been an area governor too. That was a pretty neat experience for me in Toastmasters, although it was a long, long time ago. <laughs> and so, I would like to ask you, what challenges did you face and overcome as an area governor? Sure. I was the Area 1 Governor of Division C Toastmasters and Area 1 is a huge area. That itself is a big challenge because it goes from Quincy on the west side of Illinois 
uh, to all the way to Decatur on the east side. So you have clubs all over the place. And like you know, being an area governor is a very uh, critical and very challenging role because all of these clubs and the club presidents look up to you as a model. Uh, look up to you whenever they need some help. Look up to you whenever they need to organize an area contest or a or, or division TLI, Toastmasters Leadership uh, Program, or anything like that. So it's a very challenging role to fulfill. Also, there is a responsibility of making your area a distinguished area. There are a set of goals that you need to achieve as an area to be a distinguished area. So meeting all of those in your given one year time, attending your deck meetings down in St. Louis with the division and the district, and meeting your club presidents, having your area contest, all those are quite a bit of responsibilities. But on the positive side, you learn a lot. You become a leader. And hey, you network with so many people. You network with umpteen number of people in various clubs. You know the club presidents, club officers, club members. And by the time you finish your term, you are well known in the area. True. It takes a lot of effort, but it's very rewarding. So thank you for joining me on the show today. Thanks,